and then feel, feel free to choose. So we have limit, sx approaches 5 from the right, x plus 1 over x minus 5. Okay. Note, when calculating limits, must plug in first. Always plug it in to check the type of limit we are facing. This is a must. And now you can say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Again, you told us x approaches 5, x not equal 5, you still plug it in. x approaches 5, not 5, you still plug it in. Yes, because it happens to be the same. But now here, you're telling us that we always have to plug it in. Yes, we always have to plug it in. What do you mean by the type of limit? You will see there's several types of limits. Okay. For example, this is one type. It's a number. This is another type. It's a problem. This is another type. The other six indeterminate, indeterminate cases will be other issues, other situations. Every limit, almost every limit is different. If I don't plug it in, I have no idea what I'm facing. Am I facing this? Am I facing this? Am I facing a number? Am I facing the other six indeterminate cases? I have no clue. Once I plug it in, I'll know exactly what to do next. So, let's plug it in. So please plug in 5 and tell me where the numerator is going. Zero. Numerator. Six. Excellent. Denominator. Zero. Excellent. It's this case. Oops. I know there is no hope. The answer must be either positive infinity or negative infinity or DNE. Only one of these three. I just need to determine which one. Okay. And now think in terms of 5 from the right. Can you give me a number from 5, from the right hand side of 5, very close to 5? Don't say 7. Don't say 6. Don't say 5.5. .5. Those are very far away from 5. Tell me a number very close to 5 from the right of 5. 5.001. Perfect. The numerator still stays positive. But when you plug in here 5.0001, I just need the sign. I don't care about the number. I need the sign of the denominator. When you plug in 5.001 here. Positive 0.001. Excellent. Just a sign. So then, what will you pick? Will you pick positive infinity? Will you pick a negative infinity? Or will you pick DNE? You can say both of both these are DNE. Yes, but you know what I mean. The DNE is only when the left is 5 and the right is negative 10. Or the left is negative infinity and the right is positive infinity. So what answer will you pick? It's positive, so positive infinity. Absolutely. That's it. That's the correct answer. So then, of course, x equals 5 is a vertical asymptote. Good. Excellent. Let's look at um, another one. Uh, 
what about uh, 32? In 32, we have limit. Sx approaches 3 from the left. The square of x over x minus 3 to the fifth power. We're asked to find a limit. What is the first thing mandatory that we need to, to do? Three Very good. So, where is the numerator going when x is 3? The square of 3. Good. Where is the denominator going? It was x minus 3 to the 5th power, right? Am I copy? Did I copy that correctly? Yeah. Good. So what is the denominator? Zero. Yes. Zero. Okay, problem. So I know the answer can be this, this, or this. You can say even here, it's still D and E. Yes, but I have to write positive infinity. So the limit doesn't exist, but I have to write infinity. I cannot write D and E. Good. So the numerator is positive. Some, some of my professors used to say, find the sign of zero. Of course, zero doesn't have a sign, but you know what I mean. What is the sign here? So three from the left. Can anyone give me a number from the left of 3 very close to 3? Don't say 2. Don't say 1. Those are very far away from 3. So 2.99. So just give me the sign of this expression with 2.99 in it. Just the sign. I don't care for the number. Don't waste your time. I only need the... Negative. Very good. So then you have a choice. Only one. This, this, or this. I would say negative infinity. Absolutely. Absolutely negative infinity. So x equals 3 is a VA. Does everyone understand this process? Do you have any questions? Any questions? Does it, does it matter if the numerator or the denominator is negative, or as long as one is negative, it's going to be negative and Of course. Negative of a positive or positive of a negative will always give us negative. You're dividing by a negative, so it's going to be negative. Yep. But if I have negative over negative, it will be positive, of course. Okay, let's also look at 37. And 37 is limit as x approaches 1 from x squared plus 2x over x squared minus 2x plus 1. So we're asked to find this limit. What is the first thing we need to do? Always. Anyone? What is the first step? Always, when we calculate a limit? Plug it in. Plug it in. So plug it in one. So please tell me where the numerator is going. It's going to end up being one plus two, so three. Very good. Now let's check the denominator. Where is the denominator going? Zero. Perfect. Okay, 
again, a number over zero. Problem. This is a problem. I know there is no hope. I know the limit doesn't exist. So I have to have one of these three situations. Okay. So this time it says one, unless I copied it incorrectly. Let me see. Yes, it says one from either side. Okay. Whenever we have this situation, limit as x approaches one from either side, and we get this situation, initial, this is the preliminary, we must find both limit as x approaches one from the left and limit as x approaches one from the right. If the limit were just negative um, from the left or from the right, I would have answered with no problem, whatever. But because it's the limit as s of x approaches one from either side, I need to determine, calculate this and calculate this, and then make a decision. If both are positive infinity, I would write infinity. If both are negative infinity, I would write negative infinity. But what if this is positive and this is negative infinity, or this is, neg this is positive infinity and this is negative infinity? What will I write? Okay, let me repeat the question. If both are positive infinity, I write positive infinity. If both are negative infinity, I write negative infinity. What if one is positive and one is negative? What do I write? Does not exist. Exactly. So I don't know what to write at this point. I have to determine both. So let's do that. So notice that it's much easier if I factor this, I can factor that too as x plus x plus 2. But what is this? If I notice how to factor that, or if I notice that it's factorable and I know how to factor it, I make my life much easier in determining these two limits. So can anyone factor this for us? If not, if you don't notice that it's factorable, then I recommend put this in the graphing calculator. But you will see it's so much easier if we do factor it. But let's see what happens. We plug it in the graphing calculator. My mouse is not cooperating now. I can't find my mouse. Okay, I found my mouse. Awesome. Okay, so in y equals, you punch in the function, and we have uh, parentheses x squared plus 2x, close, and divide by x squared minus 2x plus 1. And you punch in negative 1 from the left, uh, 1 from the left, which is 0.9, and 1 from the right, which is 1.1. They're both positive. So then you will say, and you see that that's x minus 1 squared. So from the left is positive infinity, and also from the right will be also positive infinity. So therefore, we write positive infinity here. So please keep in mind, every time we get, have a situation like this, in which the limit is from, determined from either side, and we get a number over 0, we always have to determine and calculate both really. We both we um, have to calculate both limits, one for the one from the left and one from the right, and 
if these two are both positive, we write positive. If they're both negative, we write negative infinity. But if they are alternating, one positive, one negative, then I have to write here D and E. Good. I think we, we had enough. I think we can move on. What do you think? What do you think? Yes, I knew I was going to do that because I pushed the computer a little bit further back. I knew that. Okay, so can we continue? Are we okay with these infinite limits? And of course, every time I get something like this, I have to write like we did all the time that x equals 1 is a VA. Every time we determine the limit as x approaches whatever, and it's an inf it's infinity or negative infinity, we have to write that x equals 1 is a VA. x equals 3 is a VA. x equals 5 is a VA. Okay, how do you feel with, with about this or any questions or we move on? So the last one that you did was the VA in this case. Yes. Both sides were a positive infinity. Okay, Every time I get infinity or negative infinity, this is the case. X equals 3 is a VA. X equals 5 is a VA. X equals 1 is a VA. Is that okay? Okay. So I think we can move on unless you disagree. And you may disagree at any point in time, and I'm listening to you. Uh, we want to use, um, we want to continue with 2.3, limit laws. Limit laws, let me see, the time is 17.